We've got about 140 bottles. That's 70 what? liters of hydrogen peroxide in the car. We've got our catalyst that's going to pour down through here. We've got a couple of mannequins inside. Yeah. yeah, who's in there? Uh, just a couple of dudes. They look like you. I guess so. What are they putting in right now? So that's our catalyst. That's our oh, potassium iodide, a big right. bucket full of it. Chris, you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. Three, two, yeah. one. Yeah. We came to a salon, so we thought we'd give you a nice do. Yeah! For this little car. Yeah, right on. That was wild. Darren is using a FLIR thermal cam so we can see all the heat being produced from the chemical reaction. FLIR stands for Forward Looking Infrared. The camera detects infrared energy, also known as heat. Each color represents different temperatures. In this case, red is the hottest and represents 190 degrees Fahrenheit. When it shoots up, it's crazy how dramatic the difference is. It looks almost like lava, and it has a very similar way that it kind of folds over. What's even more interesting, though, is that as it comes up, it's looking like it's around 120 degrees. But as it lands around the surrounding area, it's like 190 degrees. It's almost like as it accumulates more and more, like the heat is just trapped in, and it just accumulates to being much hotter temperatures. It looks really cool. Just like people use foam containers to keep food warm, this foam is insulating the hydrogen peroxide chemical reaction, maintaining its heat. But because the chemical reaction is still happening, the foam gets hotter as it builds. 